In 1967 the U.S. Marine Corps issued a requirement for a heavy-lift transport helicopter, with a lifting capacity 1.8 times that of the CH-53D. The Sikorsky developed S-80 helicopter to meet this requirement. It evolved from the earlier Sikorsky S-65-H-53C stallion, mainly by adding a third engine and a larger rotor system. A fuselage was stretched by 1.88 M. The S-80 prototype made its first flight in 1974. Since then it was the largest and most powerful helicopter outside Russia. Initial production contract was awarded in 1978. This helicopter was adopted by U.S. Marine Corps as the CH-53E Super Stallion in 1981. The CH designation stands for Cargo Helicopter. The Super Stallion saw its first shipboard deployment in 1983. A total of 227 machines were built and 180 of them are still in service. Currently the Super Stallion is the largest and heaviest helicopter used by the US military. The CH-53E is expected to remain in service until 2025. US Marines are using these helicopters to deliver troops, vehicles, and supplies from ships to shore. US Navy acquired a small number of these helicopters for shipboard resupply. Also US Navy uses a dedicated minesweeping version. This helicopter can carry 37 troops. With centerline seats installed the Super Stallion can carry 55 soldiers. Alternatively it can carry cargo with a maximum weight of 13.6 T internally and 14.5 T on external load. It is capable of lifting LAV, 25 armored vehicle or M198, 155 mm field howitzer with crew and ammunition. It can recover aircraft up to its own size. The Sea Stallion is operated by a crew of five, including two pilots and a combat crew of three gunners. During peacetime it is flown only by two pilots. There is provision for 7.62mm miniguns or 12.7mm machine guns. The Super Stallion can be armed with two window-mounted GAU-15 A heavy machine guns and a ramp-mounted GAU-21 heavy machine gun. Though the original CH-53 has two engines, while the CH-53E has three engines each developing for 380 shp. It has a larger rotor system with seven-blade main rotor in place of the previous six-blade one. The main rotor blades are made of titanium fiberglass composite. Also the tail rotor was canted 20 degrees. Since 1974 until recently the Super Stallion was the most powerful helicopter ever built outside Russia. The CH-53E is fitted with a digital automatic flight control system. It prevents the pilot from oversteering the helicopter. At some point helicopters were upgraded with FLIR units. The Super Stallion fits on amphibious assault vessels. The helicopter has a refueling probe and can be refueled in flight from a KC-130. It can also refuel from a surface ship while in hover mode. Variants MH-53 EC Dragon Minesweeping Helicopter used by the US Navy. Earlier CH-53 series transport helicopters had provision for towed minesweeping equipment. But the US Navy decided that a dedicated mine countermeasures version was required. This helicopter has enormously enlarged side spansons for an extra 3 785 liters of fuel, for extended sweeping missions with the engines at sustained high power. This helicopter tows a variety of mine countermeasures and side-scan sonars. The first prototype MH-53E made its initial flight in 1981. Around 44 of these minesweeping helicopters were in service in 2003. CH-53K King Stallion is a new transport helicopter. It was recently developed to meet requirements of the US Marine Corps. It has similar airframe, but notably improved performance. U.S. Marine Corps ordered 200 of these helicopters. The CH-53K should reach initial operating capability in 2018.